Hey everybody, welcome to a quick tip for Affinity Photo for iPad. Today I'm going to show you how live filters work and a way to non-destructively apply filters to your project. Uh, we're going to edit this picture of the oracles. They were part of the electric forest and uh, they would walk around and you can get your picture taken with them and they would like do this tarot card reading and stuff. It was really cool. So I've already brought this picture in as a raw, developed it a little bit, and I've put a uh, curves adjustment on it just to pop the color a little bit, no big deal. So what we wanna do to this uh, as an effect is when I took this picture, the focus was on the right side girl. And as you can see, as we kind of pan over, the girl on the left here kind of gets out of focus because she was kind of like back a little bit further. So I think what I wanna do to this is apply a uh, depth of field uh, to this just so maybe we can kind of make it look like you know it was on purpose that uh that it's out of focus so we can kind of out of focus like a couple things here and maybe kind of bring this to about there and okay that looks cool so now if we just click the check mark let me show you what's going to happen here if we click the check mark uh it's going to apply this filter and that's it end of story we can't go back and do anything to this game over if we want to change anything so i'm going to hit the back button the undo button here and we're going to go ahead and uh, throw that on again okay so now instead of hitting the check mark i actually just want to hit this lightning bolt here and what that's going to do is it's going to convert it to a live filter. And it's going to give me a little warning saying, hey, you know, it's going to decrease performance if you can't put like a lot of these in your project. But we're going to go ahead and uh, hit OK. And now you'll see instead of just merging that down, what it did is it added another layer here. And uh, basically what we can do is at any point we can just double click on that layer and we can go back into this photo and edit it and there we go non-destructive at any point we can go back so let's add another uh, filter to this let's go with let's do diffuse glow because I think that would look good here it's actually these default settings that came in are pretty good so let's also make this a live filter now so now we have two filters and you might notice like man that really kind of affected these girls a lot and it uh uh you know maybe it did it was a little too drastic all these layers are basically masks so what we can do is if we're on that layer we can go into the brush and let's make sure we have just kind of a basic brush here and kind of turn the hardness down a little bit and make sure we have the color black and what we're going to do is we're just going to start painting out the areas we're just going to start painting out all the girls. And as you can see, we can mask the effect so it only affects the background here, which is kind of what we want. I kind of like that look of having the trees and everything blown out, but not so much on the girls here. Okay, and as you can see in the little um, preview window, you can see that that has, in fact, masked that out. And let's even go a little further let's say this leg here, let's go down to this layer. Let's say I just don't like her leg. I want the other girls to be blurred out, but I want her not to be. Well, same thing. I can go in and kind of mask that uh, part of the filter. And I'm going a little bit over. I can take a little bit more time, but basically I just wanted to show you live filters and how they work. And now this filter right here, of course, we do need to go in. If you go with white, we can go back in and we can uh, change that and get this looking a little better. So let's kind of do that. Okay, a little bit better. Could still use a little work. Let's keep that as a live one. Uh, let's turn this on and off. And let's like, let's say we, we like that. And like, man, we really like that. We're just not going to play with that anymore. I want that background blown out. Let's double tap on that. And then this icon up at the top with the arrow and the paper is going to merge it down. And once we click that, we'll, we'll see that now it's going to merge into that back layer. We can still edit the depth 
you know, we can change it. We can tilt shift it. We can do whatever we want here. Um, but now that diffuse glow is done. We can't do any more with that. And that's how live filters work in Affinity Photo. So depending on your project, you may not want to apply a filter. You may want to apply it as a live so you can go back and edit it in the future. And uh, this is how you do it. So hope you guys learned a little bit. Uh, give me a subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot of these uh, quick tips. And uh, come on back and I'll see you guys next time.